Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to remove your personal information from Google. As many of you know, Google is the all-seeing eye that keeps track of your data, but it's not only Google's fault. Part of it is, is Google is such a good and effective search engine that it's able to search a variety of websites and resources to pull up information about you. So that means that if your name is showing up on any website, whether it be social media, uh, name sites, people search sites, Google is going to find it. Even if your local public records is or public record site is listed on the web and your name is on it, Google's gonna find it. So that's part of the challenge. And unfortunately, you have to take a multi-pronged attack to make sure that your information is off of Google. And thank goodness, there's ways that you can do it. So to get to it, because we've got a lot of information to cover, let's look at the various ways that you can get rid of that information that Google has on you. So the first way is through your social media accounts. Now all social media accounts share information with Google or they your, your information can be found on Google. So it's important that you set the privacy settings of your social media account so that Google can't find you. And how do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. So let's get and start with Facebook. Now, Facebook, obviously everyone's on and hopefully everyone knows about this awesome social media site, but you know, Facebook's one of those culprits that can feed information to Google, but you can stop it. So with that said, it's very simple process. So what you need to do is on your browser, or on your Facebook app on any device, you just need to navigate to settings and privacy. And then once you go into settings and privacy, you need to go into what's called the privacy checkup. What that'll do is it'll, once you click on it, it will bring up a nice handy section of all the private things that people, or that you can change for your Facebook account so that, um, you can keep your identity safe and that you can stop sharing data. Now today we're only talking about how people can find you from Facebook from Google. So what you can do is click on how people can find you on Facebook, click on continue. As you can see, it starts off with the friend request. So one of the things that you wanna do is that you wanna make sure that only friends of friends can find you. If everyone, anyone on or off Facebook, that means that somebody can Google you find your Facebook profile and then they can send you a friend request. But if you change the setting to friends of friends, then that means that only friends that you are currently connected to, their friends can send you Facebook requests. So that's an important setting to change. Now next, you wanna to go to who can look you up by your phone number and email address. Now this is important because Facebook and a lot of social media accounts allow you to set up your account using your email or phone number. So if someone does a Google search on your email, lo and behold, or even your phone number, lo and behold, they can find your information on Facebook. So you want to make sure that this is changed um, to either friends, friends of friends, everyone or anyone off Facebook. You want to make sure that you can choose it to only me or even or only your friends. But my suggestion would be to change it to only me. That way you're the only one able to find yourself. Next setting that we want to change is search engines. And this is what you, <laughs> this is the most important step. As it says here, search engines like Google can link to your profile and help people find you more easier. If you turn this off, your profile can still be found on Facebook, but not on Google, and that's the key. Unfortunately, it takes you through all of those steps, but we're where we wanna be. So what you wanna do under normal circumstances is do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? 
you would click no or turn the check mark off and then click next to continue. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on because I don't not mind if people find me on Google. And then that's the last step. It says you're all set. Uh, you can make sure that your information is safe and secure on Facebook so that people can't find you through Google. Now the next social media account that we need to go to is Twitter. And Twitter's kind of vague, so bear with me as we switch to Twitter and look at Twitter. So under Twitter, it's pretty much the same thing. You just basically go to more. Once you're under more, you wanna to go to settings and privacy, and hopefully you're starting to see the trend when it comes to your social media account. So I'm not covering them all, I'm just covering the big three, uh, but it's always under settings and privacy to look at your stuff. Once you're under settings and privacy, uh, you wanna to go to privacy and safety, and what you want to do is you can go in and change your information under your Twitter activity and data sharing off of Twitter as well. So you can change ad preferences off Twitter activity, um, data sharing with business partners. That's the privacy part as far as, and that's important because privacy sharing with Twitter is how companies get hold of your personal information from Twitter because part of that terms of service agreement that you uh, such, um, signed up for says that they can share your data. So if you want to make sure that information is off, you can go and make sure that you take that check mark off. Going back to privacy and settings, you want to also maybe turn off your location information, your off Twitter activity. Um, you can even manage your tweets because your tweets can be found if someone just does a Google search on you. But like I said, it's kind of a convoluted setting and Twitter is not really straightforward as far as what information you can share, but Facebook and the one that I'm about to show, which is Instagram, pretty is straightforward. So if we go to Instagram, it's just a matter of clicking on your uh, little icon in the upper right hand corner. Once you go there, you want to go to settings. And as you can see, we go back to privacy and security. And once you're under account privacy, this is the only thing that you can change. You want to make sure that you click on private account and that will allow your account not to be found on Instagram unless you direct somebody to what your Instagram username is. So that basically takes you off the Google search as far as Instagram is concerned. Now, going back to our, our tips, the next thing that you can do is that you can make a verbal or email request to get your information off of specific websites, and it's the law. Now, many of you are probably not familiar with the Digital Millennial or Millennium Copyright Act, which basically means that any website needs to take off your personal information off, off of there if you deem it necessary. Um, what you can do is go to the contact section of any website, bring up the DMCA law, and tell them to remove your personal information from, your, uh, from their website because there's certain ways that your name can show up. People don't realize as far as blogs or any other websites, your name, if it is listed on that site, will come up in a Google search. You don't have to have that happen. You can write the, you can write the creator of that website and request that your name be removed off that website. And it doesn't matter what type of website it is. They have to do it because it's the law. So basically, if you find your name on a website that you don't want, then you need to make sure that you invoke the DMCA and tell them to remove your name. Now, the next problem where Google finds your information are people's search sites. And people's search sites are kind of a challenge because these data collection sites get their information from all different sources. And they're only owned by a few large companies, but there are multiple websites that these companies share your personal information on. So it's important that you get in contact with the right people in order to make sure that you 
get that information removed. Now there's three major sites that you need to take uh, your name off of. And one is Intelligist or Intellis. Sorry, I didn't mean to pronounce, uh, mispronounce that. The second has been verified. And the third is the official White Pages website. And I'll show you where you need to go to opt out of those searches. So let's go back to our desktop. Uh, from any website, it doesn't matter. You can go to Intellis.com forward slash opt out forward slash submit, which is in the upper left hand corner of the screen here. Uh, as you can see, we're at the Intellis information opt out site, which you can in, enter in your name. So what you would do is enter in your credentials, your state and your current email address. Now, when you enter your email address, you're not handing out personal information to Intellis. You're basically giving them a way to contact you so that you can opt out. Once you hit continue, you will get an email, um, but you need to be careful because sometimes that email may wind up in your spam filter. So check your spam folder uh, and, and the email link to opt out that you will be emailed. You have about a 72 hour period to click on that link to verify that you want to opt out. So make sure that when you send that message, you click on that email and opt out immediately so that you can get rid of the Intellis uh, website links, which are linked to Friend Finder. They also own the Class Reunion Finder. So all of those sites that, that are under the Intellis umbrella, it will remove your name from. Now the next site is been verified. Another people collection site that you can go and the website you can go to to do it is benverified.com forward slash app forward slash app opt out forward slash search and it's in the upper left hand corner as you can see if you're looking to opt out of Ben Verified people search you can just put in your first name and last name uh, search if you want to change all you can even go down to state search find yourself and then opt out and you can look at the Q or FAQ as far as the website's concerned, just to verify the information that you're doing. Now, keep in mind with the Ben Verified, you do not have to join Ben Verified in order to opt out of these websites. It's just a matter of filling out the information on the form to make sure that you can opt out of that site. And finally, as far as our people search sites are concerned, it we are talking about whitepages.com and to go to White Pages, it's a matter of going to whitepages.com forward slash suppression dash request. Again, it gives you the option to, you can opt out by finding your URL or your website. So you just follow the steps here and you can opt out of your White Pages profile. Also, when they ask about the URL of your website, you want to first do a search of yourself. Um, you don't necessarily have to put your phone number in. You can put your city and state, maybe a business, if you want to opt out of your business for some odd reason, but that's not necessary. Find your website, because you have one on White Pages, and begin the steps of opting out of your profile on whitepages.com. Now, I will say, out of all of the three that I've mentioned, the Intellis is probably the most extensive as far as a people search account is concerned. So if you do the Intellis, that's probably going to wipe out 90% of the people search sites out there and it's going to keep you keep your identity safe and secure. Now, the next thing that you have to worry about is making sure that Google is not tracking your personal information. And that's pretty simple to do. Now, most of you probably have a Gmail account. If you don't, you can skip this step. But if you do have a Gmail account, it's important that you go in and make sure that your personal information isn't being shared by Google. And that is pretty simple to do. So going back to the computer, it's a matter of just going to account.google.com. Make sure you're logged into your Google account. And once you're there, you can go into data and personalization and make sure that you can turn off 
some of these features such as your YouTube history, your location history, web and app activity, and make sure that you go into the privacy suggestions that Google um, offers, like it's set up auto delete for Google, or make sure that the privacy settings are an app activity is turned off. Also your loca location history, you wanna make sure that those items are turned off as well as I said. Now, as far as the auto delete, Google has recently changed their settings where you can set up auto delete where it'll automatically delete your activity older than a specific period of time. Now you can set it older than three months, older than 18 months, and of course, older than 36 months. That is a good way of making sure that you're clearing out, or that Google is clearing out your activity on a regular basis. Um, and I would highly recommend that you go in and change those settings to keep your information safe and secure from the prying eyes of Google. Now, finally, well, actually, there's two more things we need to cover. One is Google Maps. Now, Google Maps is kind of a challenge because Google Maps will only rem remove your address information if your address numbers can be read from the Google Maps Street View. Now, to do that, it's a simple matter of going to Google Maps. Once you go to Google Maps, you need to navigate to where you live and find out if your information is actually seen on the Google Maps indicator. And I will quickly go to Google Maps so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. So let's go to Google Maps. Let's switch back to our desktop. And then, of course, with Google Maps, you can go either satellite view, and then, of course, you have the option to do a street view on Google Maps if you look up a local business. But once you're in street maps under Google, then let's see if we can get in and get to a street view. There we go. So yeah, here we have a, have a street view. So of course, everyone who's familiar knows that they can walk around with Google Maps. But yes, take a Google Map stroll to your house to see if you can see the street numbers. If you do see street numbers, you can definitely click on this link here and go to report a problem. And when you report a problem, you can tell it that it is showing your street number or house number and you can get that information removed. I'm glad I went into Street View because definitely finding that report a problem link to get your house address removed is challenging if you don't know exactly what it is that you're doing. So the final and last hard part as far as getting your information taken care of or removed off Google is public records. A public records is a challenging thing because no normally this information comes from say like the courthouse. So it's up to you to call the court system or wherever or federal and see if they will be willing to remove your public records from the web search. Now, the challenge is, is if you have a mugshot or you've got some criminal activity, that's a little bit harder to remove off of Google or off the public record system. So just keep that in mind when you attempt to get those inf that information removed. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you to find out if I can answer any further questions about removing your information from Google or any other tech tips that you might have. And I always have to throw this logo up here, but be sure to like and subscribe to Integral. I got it right this time. Or myself, Burton Kelso, who's the technology expert. There's uh, tons of tips and tricks that we share on social media and on YouTube that are designed to help you get more from the technology you use at home and at work. So I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.